Hi, in this video we're going to determine when two particles, P and Q, which are moving along a straight line, are actually moving in the same direction. So the question says, two particles, P and Q, move along a straight line. The fixed point O lies on this line. The displacement of P from O at time T is S metres, where S will be equal to T cubed minus 5T squared plus 8T. The displacement of Q from O at time t seconds is x metres, where x is equal to t squared minus 6t plus 4. Find the range of values of t for which the particles are moving in the same direction along, a, along the straight line. OK, so direction is actually given by uh, velocity. So what we'll need to do, we'll need to find the velocity function for these two displacement functions. So we've got s is t cubed minus 5t squared plus 8t. And you get velocity by differentiating the, the displacement function. So differentiating, so that will become 3t squared minus 10t plus 8. Taking the second function, a displacement function, we get x is equal to t squared minus 6t plus 4. And if we differentiate that, we're going to get 2t minus 6. Now, what we need to do is find where these, if we were to graph them, where they would cut the t axis, because that would indicate a change of direction. So the particles change direction when the velocity graph cuts the t axis. That should be velocity graphs. OK, carrying on. So finding the roots for those two functions, those velocity functions. OK, so the first one for P is a quadratic in T. So it's 3T squared minus 10T plus 8. It does factorise. We get 3T and T. And we need to put a 2 here and a 4 here and to make them both negative. OK, that will give me that t is 4 over 3 seconds, uh, or t is 2. And then for q, we'll need to uh, take this linear graph, and we can very easily see that t is equal to 3. Right, if we now look at the graph of these two functions, so this is just a quadratic, which we could sketch. But I've done it here in GeoGebra. This is the um, velocity of uh, p, and this is the velocity for q. Now... They cross the axis at uh, uh, 4 over 3 and 2, and at uh, this point here. But look, between here and here, between 4 over 3 and 2, they are both, the velocity will both be negative. So that means they are moving in the same direction for this part of their journey. Between, and also here, the uh, velocity graphs are both positive. That means they're also moving in the same direction. So... Between here, 4 over 3 and t is equal to 2. They're both in the, travelling in the negative direction. OK, and then here between, for t greater than 3, they're both travelling in the positive direction. So the range of values, so the particles will be p and q, are travelling in the same direction for being between 4 over 3 and 2, but not equal to and t is greater than 2. So here they're both travelling in the negative direction. Here they are both travelling in the positive direction. Here, for example, this one's positive and this one will be uh, going in the negative. And then from here, this one will be positive and this will be going in the negative. OK, this has been a video to show you how to... Um, find uh, where two uh, particles are travelling in the same direction. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you understood. And you might even consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.